you may notice in this equation the chamber reading m is actually called corrected chamber measurement so what are being corrected why do they need to be corrected overall the raw chamber reading goes through four steps of corrections. Each step has a correction factor. We need each factor to correct different features of the chamber to standard and ideal condition. This correction is described with this equation. For example, here's the raw chamber reading. Here are the four factors that represent the four steps of correction. And this is the corrected reading right here. So the first factor is the P-electric, electrometer correction factor. This is a factor that comes with ADCL calibrated electrometer. Similar to chamber calibration factor NDW cobalt 60, the P-electric directly comes from ADCL. So we don't need any TG51 measurement for it. The second factor is p-polarity, the polarity correction. Basically, it corrects the subtle difference between biasing the chamber to the equal amount of positive and negative volts. This factor comes from our chamber measurement. Let's see an example for measuring the polarity factor, factor for a 6 MV photon beam. So first, we place the chamber in water tank and we bias the chamber to positive 300 volts right here. And we take three measurements averaging about 6.03 nanocoulomb. Then we keep the chamber at the same location, but only changing the bias to negative 300 volts. We again take three measurements they average to about negative 6.06 .06 nanocoulomb. Then we calculate the p-polarity using this equation right here. So that is the positive 6.03 minus the negative 6.06 .06 divided by this to multiply the m raw. So this m raw according to TG51, is defined as the reading corresponding to the charge collected for the reference dosimetry measurements in the clinic, and which should be the same as for the chamber calibration that was done in ADCL. So what it means is, in our case, ADCL calibrated our chamber at negative 300 volts. So our MRAW reading is nothing but the reading when the chamber is operated at negative 300 volts. In our case, which average to the negative 6.06 .06 nanocoulomb when the chamber is biased at negative 300 volts. So taken together, P polarity equals to the absolute value of 6.03 positive minus the negative 6.06, .06, which is the nominator right here, divided by 2 multiply the m raw, which is the negative 6.06. .06. And we take an absolute reading of this equation, and we got our polarity, p polarity right here. And um, you can see that our p polarity factor in here it's 0 0.9979 which should be very close to one one means our chamber is ideal basically it means biasing sufficient positive and negative volts 300 versus negative 300 will not make a difference and for this particular example 0 0.9979 or around 99.8%, this means our chamber, when bias the negative 300 and positive 300, will make about 0.2% difference in reading, 
and this is corrected by this p polarity factor last but not least tg51 states it is unlikely that the polarity correction factor is more than 0.3 percent different from one 